ma'am. How are you? I'm back tonight. Um, I finally did another haul. It's been a while, hasn't it? So I have seen so many good things um, posted from my fellow bloggers who have already done their Easter and spring and summer shopping at the Dollar Tree. So there was one thing that I wanted and I went for that. But of course, I ended up with the haul. So let's start out with what I actually went there to get. So, a lot of the bloggers had posted these. I could not believe that the Dollar Tree finally had the ones with the fuzz on them, kind of like as they, you know, Pottery Barn or Michael's sells, and they look a whole lot more realistic than what they normally have. So, I got two, three, four, five, six seven of those. Now I was a little disappointed because if you've been following me for a while you know that yellow is actually um, my signature color for spring and summer. And I looked and looked and looked. Hold on a minute fam. And I looked and sorry about that. I looked and looked and there was no yellow. Um, there was the white, the white with the little lavender and a lot of lavender and again the white with the lavender. So I got what they had. I figured even though I use yellow most of the time, um, I could use yellow in maybe uh, what I had from last year in some of the rooms and then I'll find some place to use this because they're actually kind of pretty I think. Um, but they're, they're just more realistic because, you know, sometimes the Dollar Tree flowers can look, you know, like they're from Dollar Tree. So what I normally do to make them look uh, more real is that I usually, you know, cut them off the stems. But these, I can actually use as they are. And look at this, when you spread them out, um, you know, they even look a little bit more realistic. So you'll see those coming up. But while there... They did have these as well, and these th these are not, um, they don't have the, you know, the furry leaves, but they have like wood look stems. Can you see that? The stems look like wood. They're not that fake green looking. So I got a few of those. I got these in white, and there was, ta-da, yellow. So I got a couple yellows. So I got two yellows and three whites of those. Okay. I also got different kinds of eggs. I got the little ones that have the, the little ribbon on them and then I got the regular colored ones. If I have time before the holiday hits, I'm going to paint some of these um, white. That's my, my goal. I have enough colored ones and I wanted some to look realistic so I thought I'd do a DIY and speckle some of these for myself to do in some baskets and that kind of thing. But I got those two. Okay. And I got... Excuse me, I have to go you know, down to get this. I got two of the grasses. So, I didn't see any of the moss looking um, at my Dollar Tree, but that's what I really wanted. But I'll look again, but if I don't find it, this will do for what I'm doing. And I and I have some of the brown raffita here already, so I can kind of mix it together. So, got that. And, let's see. Oh, I got some necessities. Both Hubs and I, um, our phone cords are out. So, and they had the nicer ones there. So I got two of those, just the USB cords. And I bought a pack of these. You never, you know, just to put in my stash. You always need these. And also for my stash, I bought one, two, three. Three of these. You know, this is the glass candle holders. Yeah, so I, I bought three of those. They always come in handy when you're crafting. So I got three more of those to add to my stash. I think I have a couple of them here already, but when you're at the Dollar Tree, you need to pick them up, you know. And then I got one of these candle holders. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but again, it'll go in the stash. But I liked it because it was that cracked glass look. Can you see that? Yeah. So I got one of those. I'm probably going to wish I'd gotten two. 
And I was surprised, you know the staple, the, the candle lovers that all of us um, crafters use, you know, we glue them together and we put them on the bottom of things. None. They had none. So I don't know what that's about. I certainly hope they don't stop carrying those. But there were none of those um, in the store. So that's that bag. And then I got... People, let me tell you, I am trying my best to continue with my um, my, cam my calendar this year. I am trying to plan. So they have these really cute stickers. And... Like these are little stickers and they are, they're like little, um, I don't really need the ABCs, but I like these, the little pink, uh, they're like little baubles, like you're using crafting and they're for your, they're for your planner. So we'll see how those go. And then we've got these cute, uh, stickers as well. Oh, I had some, oh, I did. I thought I had some more stickers. So, okay. And I got the stars. Okay, and I also got the rainbow collection. I'm looking for some, some more adult-like stickers for what I'm doing, so I'm probably going to have to look around at one of the uh, other stores. Okay, and I got two of these, you know, the whole plates or books or pictures, and they're really, really silver, so I'm going to spray paint these probably some kind of bronze color. So they're not so silver and doesn't look so inexpensive but they're display easels and I got two of those because I have something going on that I'm going to use these for during the summer okay and again 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 back to my planner I got some colored pens I got two packs of those I think that maybe that'll help me do it you know I'm, I'm really good about color coding I love it like files and that kind of thing. So maybe this will help me stick to planning. Keep your fingers crossed, Sam. I'm organized, but that planner, I'm just a phone person. Or I've turned into a phone person. I keep everything on my phone. But I like the, the idea of carrying my planner with me. And, you know, like if you have a meeting or something, it's kind of nice to pull it out. So they had these, and you get two in the pack. And they were a dollar. So I bought two packs of these, so I got four. And I can come up with all kinds of ideas for those. I'm thinking of, of a couple of um, craft projects with these. So I have four. So I got two packs and they were two in the back. And then I found this. Isn't this cute? This metal can. It says flowers and garden. And, you know, I'm trying to incorporate that farmhouse look in the house. So I thought that was really cute. That metal can. I'm th I know I'm going to wish I'd gotten two, but I only got one. And then I'm still that person who likes to send actual cards in the mail. I know the you know you can send virtual cards and all of that, but I like to send them in the mail. So I, I keep a stash of cards in my desk drawer all the time when I was getting kind of low. And I have two friends that um actually need a card right about now. They're both going through a little something. So I bought two cards. Okay. I like to send them and I like to receive them. So. You do for others what you want them to do for you is my motto. And I bought this little basket. Look, it's a little bird's nest with the three eggs in it. And guess what? This is in my bag with my Dollar Tree haul, but I got this from my, my local supermarket. I was in to pick up a few things the other day, and it was laying there, and it was only two ninety nine. so I bought it home with me. And I bought two of these, you know, another Dollar Tree staple. They're always good to have in your stash. And I needed this, and I've already used, this is the only thing I've taken out of the bag, but these little candle holders, they come in the pack of four, and I took one out because I was working on the project, and you will see it very soon, and but it comes in four, and these are also good to have in your stash, at least I use them a lot. Okay, um, I got a little foam for all the flower arranging. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, my fur baby was running low on snacks, and so he loves these. So I got two of these. 
and while I'm doing all of this purging and cleaning out drawers and closets they had um, these containers they're sturdier than what the Dollar Tree normally carries um, so I bought two packs of these and you get two and look how sturdy they're not like the, the ones that you normally get I mean they work well but they're just not as sturdy so these are good I have four and then I bought this size too and they come in three for a dollar and I got one of those and I'm sure they'll come in handy and then I was very happy I have seen so many people finding these and I had never seen them at my Dollar Tree the little succulent stems and when I say I was a happy camper so I bought three four five six of them I had never seen them at my Dollar Tree so I was so happy to find it and they're all different kinds and in this one odd <laughs> looks like a Martian look at there <laughs> and then I have this kind all of them are different I didn't buy any two alike and then this one's kind of common and this one there's so much you can do with these um, while they have them I'll probably go back and get a few more tomorrow but I'm going to have fun crafting with these. And family, I think that is it for this haul. Um, it was a quick run to Dollar Tree. I went for one thing and I ended up with a small haul. So I thought I would share it with you because I hadn't done one in a while. I haven't been to the Target dollar spot yet. So that's my goal for sometime this weekend. And if I do, of course, I'll share it with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I had fun bringing it to you as I always do so that's it so I'm just going to tell you what I normally tell you please please always remain in your element don't let anybody get you out of your element and never ever ever stop believing in miracles and I'll see you in the next video thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching bye fam